So in this video, let's open an online wallet. So you can open an online wallet on blockchain.info. Now, there's a bunch of different places where you can open online wallets. It's not the only one, but let's just go through this one to see how that one works. So right here, get a free wallet. Why not? Uh, email, I've created an email to just get this done. Password, let's use the same password as before. Again, obviously don't ever use the same passwords. Uh, your password would take three days to crack. Try adding a few more characters. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's some password generators that you can use that create very strong passwords. Uh, so let's see what this, but you know, since we're just, you know, testing out, doesn't matter, but make sure that you have something, uh, a safe password. Okay, so I don't need to look at this. So online wallets, that was pretty easy to do, no? That was a super easy uh, 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 login. So probably you have to go to the security center here and add some, some security measures. Otherwise, you're probably not gonna be able to send and receive funds. But online wallets, so the private key is actually encrypted on their servers or somewhere that they're saving, right? So that's not the best, it's not the safest. Online wallets are gonna have, a lot of times, several currencies that you can have. So in this situation, in this wallet, I can have Bitcoins, Ethereums, and Bitcoin Cash, right? So it's not just actually one wallet, but I have a set of wallets, and for this one, I have three different wallets for these three different currencies, which is pretty nice. So I can use this to directly send or I can send a request to somebody, but you know, to send uh, currencies and also receive if I give somebody my public uh, key, right? So very simple, very nice. And then you have your charts. You can see how much you have in each coin. And there's also the application on your phone that you can use. So it's very it's very useful. If you do send and receive Bitcoins often and you're always sending and transferring coins, it's nice to have, right? Because it's very easy. You don't have to go on, you know, your client or whatnot. It You can log in from anywhere. You can have uh, from your phone. So very nice. Now, you're going to have to go to the security uh uh, center. So you're going to have to answer uh, or do these security settings. You're going to have to verify your email, which uh, you can do pretty easily. You can back up your phrase, right? So basically get those 12 words that we've done earlier with the other clients. And you can add two-step verification. Two-step verification is basically when you log in here and you want to transfer funds, they'll either send you an SMS code, so they'll send you a text message with a code that you'll use to verify that it's actually you. So even if somebody got your password and logged in here, unless they have their your phone, they're not gonna be able to send funds. Uh, two uh, uh, step verification, you also have the Google Authenticator that you can use as a two step uh, uh, authenticator. Basically, it's an application that you install on your phone and every time you log in here, there's a code that pops up on this application that you have to input here. Now, this code updates every 30 seconds, so it's always different. So if somebody has your password and logs into your account and they want to send some funds, it'll ask them for the code on your phone. Since they don't have your phone, they're not going to be able to have the code and they won't be able to transfer the funds. Even if they have one of the codes that you used before, it's a new code that's generated every 30 seconds. So when you should enable two-step verification and have either Google 2FA installed or have them send an SMS code uh, every time. So that's really the safest way you can have your funds. So you need to be logged in and you need to have your phone simultaneously in order to be able to send some funds. So this is an online wallet. And in the next lecture, we'll look at something different.